Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello Pharma Aspirants, welcome to GDC channel. In this video, we will discuss about the classification of lipoproteins. Before starting the classification of lipoproteins, let's discuss about the structure. This is the structure of lipoprotein which contains phospholipid. Phospholipid is the class of lipids that are the major component of a cell membrane. This phospholipid is the major component. In this lipoproteins, we could see that the major component of cell membrane is lipoprotein. They can form lipid bilayers because they are amphiphilic in nature. Why amphiphilic? Amphiphilic means hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic nature. This phospholipid contains a head and a tail. This head is hydrophilic head and this is the do and this two legs like thread like structures are the part of phospholipid which are known as hydrophobic tails. Hydrophobic tail. In the structure of phospholipid hydrophilic head is always facing towards outward direction and hydrophilic sorry hydrophobic tails are in the inside this hydrophobic lipid along with hydrophobic head and hydrophobic tail contains a phosphate group these were the details about phospholipid now the embedded it, embedded Apolipoproteins. Apolipoproteins are the proteins that are bind lipids to lipoprotein. It means that it helps in the binding of lipids to form lipoproteins. This Apollo lipoproteins helps in the binding. Triglycerides. Triglycerides are an ester which is derived from glycerol and three fatty acids. Triglycerides are the main constituent of fat. This now these were the structure of lipoproteins. Triglycerides, embedded Apollo lipoproteins, and phospholipid forms a lipoprotein. Now the classification before. Classification, let's discuss about the amount. Phospholipid, largest form of cell membrane. Triglyceride is present inside the cell membrane in huge amount. And cholesterol. In small amount, cholesterol is present and protein is present in the cell membrane. Cholesterol is an organic molecule and is a sterol. A type of lipid. Now we'll discuss about the classification of lipoproteins. This one is the high density lipoprotein. Diameter ranges from 10 to 20 nanometer. In this percentage of triglyceride is 8. This is present in 8% triglycerides. And protein is present in 40% of total. Next one. This is LDL. Low density lipoprotein. Diameter is 20 to 25 nanometer. In this triglyceride is present in 12% and protein only 20%. Next is IDL, intermediate density lipoprotein. Diameter is 25 to 50 nanometer and triglyceride. It is present 
in thirty one percent and protein eleven percent. Next is VDL VLDL very low density lipoprotein. In this triglyceride is present in fifty five percent and protein ten percent. In chylomicron it is chylomicron triglyceride is present at 88% and protein at 2% when we are increasing this order the percentage of protein is decreasing and triglyceride is increasing in each lipoprotein in this we'll detail out the types of lipoprotein hdl which is high density protein lipoprotein ranges from 10 to 20 nanometer in diameter and glycerol type triglyceride is present in 8% and 40% of protein function of hdl it is formed in liver and it helps in the delivering of cholesterol it helps in delivering of cholesterol from peripheral tissue from peripheral tissue to liver ldl which is low density lipoprotein has a diameter of 20 to 25 nanometer and percentage of tri triacylglycerol is 12 and protein is 20 percent it is derived from VLDL remnant and it deliver the and it deliver cholesterol to extra hepatic delivers the cholesterol to extra hepatic tissue and to liver hdl transfer the cholesterol from peripheral tissue to liver and ldl transfers the cholesterol to extra hepatic tissues and to liver IDL intermediate density protein has a diameter of 25 to 50 nanometer and percentage of triacylglycerol is 31 and protein is 11 percent. It is formed from VLDL and LDL is formed from 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 ideal VLDL very low density lipoprotein has a diameter of 50 to 90 nanometer and contains 55 percentage of triacylglycerol and only 10 percentage of protein it is formed in the liver formed in the liver and it carries endogenous triacyl glycerol next is chylomicron having diameter 100 to 1000 nanometer 88 percentage of triglycerol and 2 percentage of chylo protein is present in chylomicron. It is formed in the intestine 
formed in the intestine and it carries triacyl glycerol type 3 type type 3 okay so ideal it is formed from real layer and low density lipoprotein is formed from ideal VLGL helps in carrying endogenous triacyl glycerol and formed in liver. Chylomicron is formed in intestine and helps in carrying type 3 triacyl glycerol. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.